Hi guys, this is part 2 in making a ninja platformer game in scratch. So if you haven't seen part 1 yet, make sure to check it out. Link is on the description below. So, so far I showed you how to code your ninja. So it can move, jump and also detect slopes. So in this video I will be showing you how to code the levels and add a sword to your ninja. So let's get started. So first I show you how to code the level system. So click on your player and let's make a new variable called level for all sprites. And then, when I receive play, we need to set our level to 1. And when we define this, grab a if statement, I place it above the right key arrow pressed. So if our x position is greater than 232 then we need to change our level by 1 and we need to broadcast a new message called next and when I receive next we need to go to our original X and Y position which is negative 200 and negative 50. I'll duplicate this. And when I receive next, we need to go to negative 200 and Y negative 50. So now click on your levels and when green flag clicked, forever, we need to switch costume to level. So okay, now let's test our level system. So now you can see when our ninja reaches the end, our ninja moves to the next level. So okay, our level system works. Now I'll be showing you how to code the sword. So click on your player and let's make two new variables called weapon number and weapon type. So I'll hide these variables and when I receive next we need to set our weapon number and weapon type to zero. So now click on your sword and when green flag clicked we need to hide and forever we need to grab another if and equals so if costume so costume of level is equals to 1 then we need to go to x negative 58 and y negative 33 and now we need to create clone of myself and we need to stop this script Now grab a when I start as a clone block and then we need to hide wait until touching player and we need to set our weapon number and weapon type to 1 
and we need to broadcast weapon one and then we need to delete this clone so now grab another when I start as a clone block and we need to hide and forever we need to show and we need to point in direction 90 degrees set size to 200 and we need to switch costume to swing so this is my swing costume and we need to grab a repeat so we need to repeat 10 times we need to change our value by 1 so duplicate this and change this to 20 and we need to change y by negative 1 and duplicate this and change this to 10 and change y by 1 So okay, now grab when green flag clicked, we need to delete this clone. Now when I receive weapon 1, we need to forever grab if, grab and block. And equals so if key is press pressed and our weapon number is equal one then we need to make a block name it as swing sword click OK we need to swing sword And we need to wait until not key spray is pressed. So okay, now let's define sword swing. So we need to show grab an if else statement. So if grab a backdrop of stage change it to direction of player direction of player equals 90 degrees then we need to set our size to 150 and we need to point in direction 30 degrees and grab a repeat and change this to 7 we need to turn 20 degrees and we need to switch our costume to swing and we need to go to player player and we need to broadcast a new message name it as switch costume and else duplicate this and we need to set size to 150 and we need to point in direction 150 and we need to turn in direction negative 20 degrees and we need to switch costume to swing one and finally we need to hide so now click on your player and when I receive switch costume 
we need to switch costume to N0 and now go to the define and we need to switch costume to grab a join N and weapon number so okay now let's test our project so now you can see our ninja has a sword and our ninja moves to the next level when he reaches the end so if you like this video please make sure to give it a like subscribe and share so see you in part 3 in making a ninja platformer game in scratch